What's up, everybody? Welcome back into an EWE Reviews. Today, we're going to be talking about the season premiere for South Park, season 26, episode 1. Uh, this review will be similar to the Last of Us review that I've done. So the first part of this review is going to be spoiler-free. I'm going to give you my thoughts, a score, um, any basic info that you need about this. Then the second half, I'll give you guys a five-second warning, letting you know that I'm just going into spoilers. I'm going to be talking about spoilers about the episode. Um... So yeah, just uh, stay with me with this one. It's going to be my first one. I'm still not sure if I'm going to do this for every episode of the season, or I'm just going to do the season premiere, and then I'll do a season review at the end, just because South Park's a little bit more very subjective, so I just want to, not sure if I want to do it for every one of them. Uh, not like Last of Us. Last of Us, I feel more people will watch that because it's not comedy. Comedy's a little bit, I have the audience for, the people that would like that, but not everyone that will like that one, so I'm not sure if it's for everyone. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first off, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you guys thought about the episode. If you've watched it, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it, then let me know what you guys thought. Um, Alright, so starting off, this episode came off on February 8th, 2023. Um, the show's creators are Matt Stone and Trey Parker, and they do many of the voices. I don't know every individual voice for this episode, so I'm just going to mention them for it. Uh, Runtime is its normal 22 minutes. Uh, basic plot of this episode, if you look at the trailer, is that someone is saying that Kyle is running Hollywood, and he is pissed off about that. Now, if you've been watching any of the satire that's been, I mean, this is satirical, but it's being based off some of the comments that were made in recent times uh, towards um, the Jewish community, saying that, oh, they have all the money and things like that. If you watch some pro sports um and even like people like kanye west so like kyrie irving kanye west they said some very anti-semitic things and that is reflected in this episode the way that things are being said about it so uh, just letting you know that's basic the idea of what this episode's about but it goes in a good route I actually do like how they use everything in it so i was actually laughing for a good part of this episode um so here are my thoughts on the episode i really enjoyed it i felt this was a true form for south park they went back to some of their basics that they've done in the past. Um, I was just laughing. They took elements that they've used in other episodes in the past and put it here. And it worked really well. Uh, South Park, over the years, they used to do things where everything was kind of like a one-off. But they've kind of gotten to the point now where they've been around for so long. Similar to Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad. Where sometimes they got to just go in and know, hey, let's just grab something from our past, bring it in here, use it. So that does end up being here. But they also know how to use current events and put it into their episodes. Something that a lot of the other shows can't do because their production takes so long. South Park takes about a week to make an episode, I think five days. So they can take something that happened last week and put it in their new episode. Uh, luckily, they uh, usually when they start their first episode of the season, they take something that was big in their off time and then bring it in. I was glad this was the one that they used. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, if I were to give it a score, uh, actually, I'll just tell you my score right now. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10 for great. Um... Yeah, I thought this was a great episode. I definitely recommend you watch it if you're a South Park fan. If you don't like this type of comedy, uh, I know this isn't for everyone. This is similar to like Rick and Morty, something like that. Not everyone's going to like the comedy. But I'm someone that really likes South Park because they're able to use satire to take in current events and use it in a way that I find it really useful and something to get you thinking about things of yourself. So like, uh, actually, no, I'll say in the spoiler section. But yeah, I'll give this one an 8 out of 10. Uh, for great i do recommend you go watch it um please don't let your kids watch it i don't think a lot of kids would really understand what's going on here so yeah um give it a shot should be on um, one of the streaming services that south park's on i don't know which one they're on anymore uh <laughs> every they're all over the place all right guys so that's my spoiler free thoughts let me go into the spoiler section so here's your uh, warning so five four three two one all right guys um cupid me being back already was just like what the hell all right this is how we're hard we're going to start the new season we're already starting off with cupid me um a lot of race uh stuff so i'm actually just going to say the plot of the episode and i'll make some comments as i go so the start of the episode is you see kyle and tolkien um that they're now doing tiktok videos so they're bringing the tiktok phase that's all fad and they're bringing that in there um then you see stan kenny and cartman being like we don't get what this is. And I'll be honest, I felt like one of those people, I'm like, I don't get TikTok and stuff like that. But it really was sad because you can see Stan's kind of like, am I losing uh, Kyle to Tolkien? And it, it's just really cute. It's like, oh, he's losing his best friend, um, which 
weirdly then makes Cartman try to break up Tolkien and Kyle, which I'm just like, whoa, it's weird that Cartman did something nice for Stan, but then this ends up leading to even more crazy things happening, because uh, this is when we find out that Cupid Me is around, and Cupid Me now is going to try and break up Kyle and Tolkien, and he's going to be, uh, first Cartman tries to break them up, and Cartman does some weird stuff where he's talking to um, Tolkien and saying like, oh, the Jewish people are trying to like, take the identity of black people and it's just like whoa 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 even i was just like whoa and then i was just thinking oh they're talking about the stuff that kanye and the Kyrie irving were mentioning and it just goes off the rails from there so cartman ends up saying yeah kyle runs hollywood and everyone eventually ends up believing that i, I don't know how he made everyone believe it but it's just like satire on what's going on in the real world and i thought that was used really well um, eventually, Cartman does end up bringing a wedge between uh, Tolkien and Kyle. There is one weird thing where I, I couldn't tell at one point, is Cupid me real in this universe? Or is he just a figment of Cartman's imagination? But kind of like Tolkien, uh, Cupid me is real in this universe? It's weird. I'm not fully sure how they're... Because in the end, I'll get to it. It's weird. Okay. So then, um, now that everyone is starting to believe that Kyle runs Hollywood... Cartman ends up going to a new show and he's dressed up like Kanye was on Alex Jones where he's in the mask and all this stuff and Cupid Me ends up saying some very anti-Semitic stuff like ends up like saying oh yeah Hitler was good I'm just like oh my god no they really went that far but I mean Kanye went that far so again this is them just making fun of current events and just in the show even in the show you're just like why would anyone say that and it's kind of like yeah why would anyone say that why did um Kanye even said so I thought that was great it was just like yeah if you're seeing in the show it's like oh this is ridiculous it's like yeah how do you think it looked in real life when someone actually did that um and yeah that what was also funny is that when Cupid Me did say stuff like that Hitler was right you even tell like Cartman's like whoa whoa you might be a little you might be going a bit too far and that kind of reminded me of Alex Jones where it's like Kanye was crazy and Alex Jones is like ooh, yeah Kanye might be a bit too crazy um and then this eventually leads to Kyle and Tolkien stop working together because now they're trying to say, oh, you're using me. Oh, you're using me. It, it turns into a bunch of race issues. And then <laughs> Cupid me, crazy enough, he has like a Hitler uh, shrine in the bathroom and he ends up making making arrows that make everyone anti-Semitic at the school. They're all trying to go after um, Kyle. Luckily, Stan and Tolkien end up getting to Kyle but then, out of nowhere, the hero of this story turns out to be Cartman, who ends up giving Cupid Me some meds to calm him down and make him not want to uh, make everyone anti-Semitic anymore and be all happy. It was really off the rails, but I love this type of comedy, so that worked for me. So then, <laughs> the episode decides to take it a step further. Um, so, the Cupid Me stuff's over. Now, Kyle is going to do his normal, like, oh, what I learned today speech that he usually does in classic South Park episodes. The twist here, though, is he does this in front of a lot of people, and they end up saying, you know what? Kyle should run Hollywood. And now it's like, oh, crap. What Cartman ended up, like, spewing at the beginning ended up becoming real. And it's just, like, it's just funny how it went all dumb. Um, and I'm sure that they're probably going to be using this for a future episode. Maybe this is a season-long uh, arc, because now South Park likes to do that on occasion. I, I enjoyed the episode a lot. I thought it was just, like, what the hell is going on? South Park coming out swinging, because, you know, there's times where South Park is like, oh, I don't get what you guys are doing, but this was just them going, like, fuck it, let's go. And it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, so... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one of these for South Park. I'm still debating it. We'll see how next week's episode, if it's good or not, uh, if I even want to do this. Um, it, it's tough doing for week-to-week -week episodes on shows because it just takes time and energy. It's like, I'm not sure how many views I'm actually going to get on this. Not that I get a lot of views. Like, I'm still trying to grow this, but thanks for all your support, guys, that do end up watching. So please like this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you guys thought about this episode. Um, please let me know what you guys want me to watch. I should be having a re review for Magic Mike, uh, the new one, uh, come out either Saturday or early next week. Uh, I'll also have a Last of Us review. Uh, that one, I don't know when I'm going to have it. It might be Saturday, it might be Monday, it might be Tuesday. I'm not sure at the moment. We'll see. There's other stuff I want to get done as well. Um, but yeah, guys, um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, thanks for the support and talk to you guys soon.